football in the hand. Um, I remember I just heard on the TV where a guy is saying that you don't you protect that football at all costs. That's interesting because what I think is going on is um. I remember I heard of a girl who was in a car accident many years ago, 20 years ago, on the Sea to Sky Highway. The car rolled a few times, flipped around a few times, but she walked away from the accident. She wasn't driving, but she was still holding her cup of coffee in her hand. That cup of coffee was so protected, just psychologically, you don't spill a drop. And she, she was traumatized by the accident, had, you know, some long-term back injury but that cup of coffee wasn't spilled now isn't that what everyone's got with their cell phone they got to protect that thing at all costs um, this is a, basically a hypno hypnotized but in the body and the bodies have already been um, accustomed to micromanagement through the influx of the yoga studios in the last 20, 20, 30 years that everybody, yoga became so trendy. Uh, not that yoga is all that bad. I like it set in the sand and in loose white clothing or comfortable clothing, but not in these tight clothes where you're actually hypnotized and your pores are suffocating. Your oxygen isn't really getting the negative ions analyzed by your pituitary gland through your breathing. Um, you're, you're actually just suffocating yourself with that yoga wear and you're being micromanaged. They're telling you breathe in, breathe out, touch this, do that, do this, do that. Micromanaging. So my point is that we have already been conditioned to be micromanaged through the body, through things like yoga or even um, carrying these cell phones. So that's like the next step is from micromanaging your body, you macromanage your brain, I guess one way to look at it. But that's exactly what Satanists do, according to Wilfred Wong. He said it's all about a micromanaging. Or he said it's about a lot of things with SRA. But micromanaging is a big part of what these uh, pillars of the community like. And they're all, you know, the people that you wouldn't think are involved are involved with Satanism. Satan is a micromanager. And we have to answer like Jesus said. He said, man does not live by bread alone. Stop telling me what to do.